warm-ups just about complete in Motown. It's Tigers baseball, and it starts right now. Tuesday night baseball now from Comerica Park in downtown Detroit, Michigan. Tonight, the start of a three-game interleague series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the central leading Detroit Tigers. Matt Vaskersian with you for another edition of Tigers You're Baseball here on the show. I'm joined by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons as we delve into our pitching matchup here in the opener. Yeah, and I think in this game we're going to see a couple of guys that have pitched pretty well recently. Both of them winners in their last outing, so obviously they're looking to equal those performances right here in this game. More from the guys as this one goes along. But first, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Pittsburgh Pirates. As manager Clint Hurdle has his squad lined up like this. He'll go to work against this fellow right here, Venezuelan-born right-hander Anibal Sanchez. Starling Marte makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball to see. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. So the leadoff man is aboard to start the series. And with that, let's take a look at the defense for the Detroit Tigers. It's brought to us by Majestic. Runners on the move for second. Pitches a cold strike, the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. And this is all about a table setter at the top of the lineup doing his job perfectly. Gets on base to start the ball game. Now he's in the second on the stolen base, and they're off to a fast start here. Last 10 games, they're seven and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. And they've got themselves a pretty good sized division coming into play. Certainly not out of reach yet, but they've got to be pretty comfortable with where they're sitting at this point in the game. First pitch coming now from Sanchez. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances. One, two. And he swings and hits this ball high in the air and deep to left center field. Pirates get one on the Andrew McCutcheon double. Bottom of the first coming up. It's now 1-0 Pittsburgh. Here's a look at the starting lineup for the Tigers now. And this lineup will have to contend with no easy assignment indeed. The man with the electric slider, left-hander Francisco Liriano. How the Pirates line up on D behind him. Miguel Cabrera will stand in now, just to come. And this is lined into left field for their first hit of the ball game. Victor Martinez. Will get his first opportunity here. And he enters the play. They're going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around the school. And this will get down for Victor. Should be extra bases. Cabrera rounds third and heads for home. And a relay home. And the runner will score from first. So a run batted in there on the double as they've come back to tie the game at one in the opening frame. J.D. Martinez will get his first shot down. He's seen that average climb a bit to the total. Now 19 on the year. 1-0. Now a ball hit sharply toward third. And that's through into left, a base hit. And now third base coach Dave Clark's giving him the come on, come on around third. 
and that will score the run from second as they jump in front now, two to one. Pedro Alvarez will stand in here looking to keep comfort. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Down in order go the Pirates. Our score remains two to one. Jose Iglesias will stand in here, one for four in Sunday's ball game. First pitch coming. And the first pitch of the inning is lined into left field, and there's a leadoff base runner. Rajay Davis will try it again. He flies out. He waits. Now the pitch. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Ian Kinsler will stand in. From the stretch. Swing and an easy grounder to third. Knee high. He barehands it. Throw to first in the dirt. And now everybody's going to be safe. Miguel Cabrera dig in here with the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. They've been tough to deal with this year. Second on the team in RBI, so this is a golden opportunity. First pitch coming. Swing and a shot toward right center. Polanco is there as he makes the catch and they'll tight rope out. One, two, three, go the Pirates. They still trail it here. Pitch. Maybe just off the plate, but if it was, wasn't by more than half an inch or so. And that'll get by into left field, so he's on to lead off the inning. Boy. For two. Up next for the Pirates. Second baseman. Neil Walker. Neil dig in Walker. here. He flew out. At ah, and a sinker. Three. Cold strike three as he's rung up and the side is retired. Down in order go the Pirates. They're down 2-1. John Kang will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe ball as that evens things at two and two. Pitch in the dirt is swung on and missed, so he'll need to get the force at first. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Kind of a double-edged sword right there. He wants to bounce a curveball to get a swing through, and he gets it, but then he's got to worry about that ball maybe getting away. Fortunately, that's a nice play to keep it close and get the runner out at first. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Our score remains two to one. Overtaxed inning, so he should be fine for the time being. Ball hit pretty well out toward left center. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Oh, this is just a very tough play here in the outfield. A lot of times you're going to see the ground char the ball loose, but he puts this one in all the way, lays out, and winds up hanging on to the ball. One. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to go up. Every once in a while with a fastball, you'll be fine, but you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches. Well, even when you keep him in the ballpark, he can be trouble. Here he's right on this pitch, and he smokes it into left field for a solid sink. First pitch coming. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. He set, now the pitch. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. To Walker for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Tony Sanchez will come forward now to start out their half of the six. Never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters. That's a tough one to do anything. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. And the way this guy's pitching, you can bet these guys are thinking, hey, goodness, he's over in the other league. I, I'd hate to face him three. Six. Steve Lombardozzi will stand in now. He struck out in 0-2 count. 
count. He's got probably five different pitches he can throw here. So as a hitter, what are you going to do? Base hit. Andrew McCutcheon will dig in. He and he's really going to... I'm sorry to interrupt, but that's the third strike and the third out. Side is retired. Pirates leave one. They still trail it here, two to one. J.D. Martinez will stand in now. He's saying... Fucked anybody, so at least he's got... Now, meanwhile here, this ball's hit fairly well down that left field line, and it's going to stay fair. It's a home run. Solo shot down the line in left. Home run number 15 for him thus far. And with it, the Tigers have been staked to a 3-1 to one lead. That's a mistake in location right here. He could wind up really coming back to haunt him. This is a solo home run, and it makes this a run lead now. The way their starters throwing the ball so far. Back here now at Comerica Park in Detroit. We're through the first six innings with the Tigers on top and before we start the seventh let's take a look at our game summary. Neil Walker will stand in now. He flew out at home in one strike. You have to say they brought Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on the hit-by-pitch. And you know the problem with this slider, and it almost sounds stupid to say it, but sometimes it can literally move too much. I mean, it's a great pitch, don't get me wrong. But here, look at how far this thing runs in. That's a pitch that can be hard to control at times, and here it winds up costing him. John Kang comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike. The next 0-2. And Slider gets him swinging to gone. Now he continues to pitch well out there. Here's his pitch breakdown so far. Gregory Polanco will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. First pitch to him. Runner goes for second. Pitch is a cold strike to throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Brad Lincoln will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Rajay Davis will get another shot after he was robbed of a count. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And from the belt, the pitch. We'll try it again from first. And it's up the ladder and the tag comes in too late, so he's in at second base here with two away. Boy, I'm not too sure if a good throw would have had him here or not. But you can see he doesn't get on top of his throw down, and it sails on him just a little bit. That's going to allow the runner to dive in safely with a stolen base. 1-1 one, one on the way. Now a swing, and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Gregory Polanco will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there. He's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long. And I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. Action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. That's in there as well. It's a quick 0-2 count. Swing and a liner towards second. And that's through a base hit. Tony Sanchez will stand in, and his guys have got something cooking now with two on and nobody out. 
And down by two, this is a good opportunity to try to put yourselves level. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Starling Marte will stand in now and want to give up the baseball. And he never does. I just don't think that's in his mentality. Now a little dribbler up the line to first. There's no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. Just a little tapper right there. Probably no chance to get a double play on it anyway. So if you're only going to get one out anyway, you might as well take the force at home plate. Steve Long somewhere. He might even be able to give his team the lead. Now here's the ball hit hard on the ground towards short. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Jared Hughes is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Miguel Cabrera, yet another shot. He hit it. Line to left. And that's a base hit, so a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. Victor Martinez. I mean, it's hard to explain why that's the case, but it's true. You run into a guy with a good sinker and lots of movement on it, it just feels like you're hitting a bowling ball. The ball just doesn't go anywhere. J.D. Martinez will stand in now with two away, and it's back to the drawing board here following. Here comes a 1-2. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. And it's still 3-1. Joaquin Soria is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Andrew McCutcheon will be the one that will lead things off. in a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Yeah, it's so hard to stay back against a guy like this. Unless you guess right, that thing's just so slow that it's almost impossible to keep from getting out on your front foot. Josh Harrison will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their strike zone. You can't work the corner here. This has to be right at it. And that'll get down for a base hit. Neil Walker will stand in now. 0 for 2 with a hit by pitch so far. Here's the first pitch to him. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Davis back to the track as he takes it for out number two. John Kang will stand in his dugout. That nervous time up here. My heart's racing and I'm just watching this game. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. Made and the Tigers have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Good job there to shut the door as they wind up ending the month on a winning note. This one is definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score.